Steven here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with a rather unique ink review. Something a bit different. Uh, what I will be taking a look at today is the Diamine Inkvent Calendar. What I'm going to do is show you what the Inkvent Calendar looks like, I'll talk a bit about what's included in the package, and I'll be sharing a small number of the included inks. Uh, if you'd only care to learn about the product itself and don't want to know about any of the inks, you can watch this portion of the review and I will make it very clear what I'm about to discuss the actual inks. If you're looking forward to a surprise, I wouldn't want to ruin that for you. Thanks go out to Pen Chalet for providing this product for review. I'll put a link in the notes below where you can check it out on their site. Uh, these calendars retail for $90, and as we get closer to the holidays, they are moving fast. So if you're interested, I'd recommend picking one up sooner rather than later, because once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, retailers aren't going to be receiving a second supply of stock. Uh, if you do find these sold out on the Pen Chalet site, I'd recommend checking out some of their other diamine inks on the site. Uh, one of my favorite diamine inks is a pumpkin. It's a real vibrant orange red that I care for a great deal. It's really worth picking up if you don't already have a bottle. I'll actually show you what it looks like here in a bit. So here is the Diamine Inkvent Calendar. Uh, this is Diamine's take on a traditional holiday advent calendar. Uh, advent is actually a variation on the Latin word for coming, and it signifies a period of time before Christmas. Traditionally, advent calendars kind of count down the days to Christmas beginning with December 1st. And you can see here there are actual numbers, 1 to 25, kind of scattered throughout here. Behind each of these numbers, there is a little door uh, which you open on the appropriate day. So on December 1st, you actually open up, where's one? Here it is. You open up the door and behind there'll be a small bottle of ink. Now I've removed the inks from here, so there's nothing in here right now, but you get the idea. Uh, there are 25 doors. Behind 24, you will find seven milliliter bottles of special holiday bespoke inks, which in my searching, I don't believe you can find anywhere else but in this calendar. Um, it's hard to tell here, but the door for December 25th uh, is much larger than the rest, and that's because behind that door is a 30 milliliter bottle of ink. Um, there are four different categories of inks included in this calendar. There are uh, standard inks, inks with shimmer, some inks with sheen, and others with both shimmer and sheen. I don't want to show all of the inks that you receive and ruin any surprise, but what I was going to do was share four inks, one from each of those categories, to give you a sampling of what you can expect when you pick up one of these. Um, also, uh, so I'll only basically be spoiling uh, just four of the 25, but I think that you'll find it worthwhile and the information useful. Um, I think that these four inks have some very cool properties. So in order to take a look at these four inks in this calendar, uh, please join me over here at camera two. To begin with, this is one of these seven milliliter bottles. There is a label on the other side here, but I'm not going to turn this one around because it's not one of the ones I'm sharing, but I wanted to show you how they're packaged. There's some uh, shrink wrap plastic on each bottle. I will say that for me, uh, I was having a challenging time getting this plastic off each of the bottles I opened. It's on there pretty tight and it seemed to take a lot more effort than I would have uh, anticipated. Okay, on to the four inks. What we have first, is Jack Frost, which is a nice blue here that is both shimmering and sheening. Then we have Mistletoe, which is a standard ink and a nice dark green. Then we have Gold Star, which is a nice yellowish orange shimmering ink. Uh, and then finally, there is Noel, which is a, uh, a real nice sh uh, sheening ink that is kind of a maroon with a uh, kind of a, a greenish gold sheen to it. I haven't broken out my microscope camera in a while and I've never taken close up pictures of ink, so I wasn't sure what to expect but I thought these turned out pretty cool. Here is the Jack Frost. This is the shimmer and sheen. You can see the shimmer here is the lighter colored flakes. Then this is the Gold Star, which is a shimmering ink. You could really see the gold flakes in here. Then there is Mistletoe, which is a standard ink. Uh, you could really kind of see the grain of the cards that I'm using for these swatches. Uh, 
And finally, there is the Noel, which is a dark red with a green shimmer, uh, kind of a greenish gold shimmer. And I think those turned out pretty cool. I might have to use the microscope camera on ink reviews more often. This is what the ink looks like on some 52 gram Tomoe River paper with some Q-tip swabs and some smears. Uh, here is the Jack Frost. Then we have the Gold Star. There is the Mistletoe and the Noel. I always mention this, but I lay on this ink pretty thick on this paper. So in regard to some uh, bleed through and some ghosting, just to have a little bit there, there's a little bit more bleed through here, but on the green, there's very, very little. Uh, and so it's to be expected that some's gonna come through here, but for the uh, Jack Frost and the mistletoe to have very little in the way of bleed through and ghosting is rather impressive. Okay, let's take a little musical interlude and look at some chromatography. some cool things about these strips I thought. Uh, this was interesting. This is the gold star uh, which is the shimmering ink and the actual shimmer stayed put here where the original application of ink was and you can see the breakout of the yellow and the orange. Then here is Noel uh, which you can see has some lavender and some pinkish red as well as some dark maroon. Uh, this one surprised me a bit. Typically green breaks out into more of a blue and yellow, but this one, as you can see, has a great deal of gray. This is the mistletoe. Uh, and then a little yellow blending into some uh, green and some very dark blue, which really didn't separate that much. And then finally, we have the Jack Frost, which is a shimmer and sheening ink. Like the Gold Star, you can see the shimmer is left here, but this shimmer, let me see if I can catch it in the light. Uh, this shimmer is white as opposed to gold here, and this is a fairly saturated straight blue. In regard to writing samples, I wanted to use some pens that would really show off these inks, so I chose some which would lay down some nice big lines. So first of all, we have this Padiner La Grande Bellezza, and I used that on the Jack Frost. Uh, it said here that Advent is a season observed in many Christian churches as a time of expectant waiting and preparation for Christmas. Then next up, we have a pen from Keras Customs, which is the Mugian Monster. Uh, and this one uh, is actually a 1.1 stub. And I used that on the mistletoe and said here that the first day of Advent varies, starting on a Sunday between November 27th and December 3rd. Uh, then next up, for the Noel, I chose a Pilot Custom Heritage 912, which actually has Pilot's music nib on it. So I said that Noel, uh, for Noel, that the advent calendar can be uh, uh, found with all sorts of prizes like chocolate, I've seen even some with nail polish, or even fountain pen ink. And then finally, for the Diamine Gold Star, uh, I have a brand new pen from Fountain Pen Revolution, and this is their uh, Himalaya ver uh, V2, or version 2. And rather than a writing sample, I just want to kind of show how much you could actually flex this, and that this is a, a nice ink in order to use for that. And you can really see how you could get some different shading. It did railroad a little bit there, but I was going for a little bit. Uh, and it's very nice. 
nice. In regard to this Gold Star ink, you can see this is what the ink looks like on its own. And you can see that the gold actually kind and the, the flakes uh, shimmer actually kind of condense on the bottom. But then if you kind of shake it up, you'll want to shake it up before you can use it. And then you could really see that shimmer and the gold flakes that are inside the ink bottle. I mentioned I would show you the Diamine Pumpkin. This is what that color looks like. Uh, it is not a color that is included in this set, but I do recommend it highly. Uh, a viewer kindly sent me this bottle. This is one of their 30 milliliter bottles. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't recall the name offhand of who sent this to me, but you know who you are and I thank you. Uh, I liked it so much that I actually went ahead and purchased one of the larger 80 milliliter bottles because I knew that I would blow through this smaller bottle. And like I said, this is their 30 milliliter bottle, which is the actual, the, the same size as the bottle that you receive behind the door on the 25th. So there we have some of the inks included in the Diamine Ink Vent calendar. Uh, thanks again. Go out to Pen Chalet for providing this set for review. This was one of those items where I wasn't quite sure how I'd feel about it at first, but after I saw the variety of unique inks provided that you really can't get anywhere else, I would very much recommend picking one of these up. I have a feeling that purchasing one of these will become an annual tradition for me as well. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.